Ooh, what the hell? I didn't expect this guy to even have any stuff. Damn, has he got anything downstairs? Sheet metal door there. Got anything in here? Oh, damn. Right, let's take that tower out. We can clear or fries that. Alright. Not too bad actually, not too bad. Obviously the loot ain't amazing, but to say we only used a little bit of wood, I'd say that it's pretty good. Oh, rifle body! Wow, okay. That's very good actually. That's a very good. This isn't actually a half bad raid. I think that's just about everything that we're going to need from here. Yeah, we might as well kill this guy though, and then break his bag. Because he lives literally on the edge of our base. I'll show you guys whereabouts my base is in a second. Let's jump up here, and my base is literally on that rock right there. I don't know if we can see it yet. Uh, it's right here, literally. Like, behind this behind this rock here, it's right there. Oh, there we go, we lost no health. Alright, I'll show you where my base is. My base is literally right here. There we go, there it is. Look, so look how close he lives. He lives there, I live there. Yeah, we definitely needed to get rid of him. I believe he had a rifle body too. That's actually kind of weird. Looks like we've got a neighbour trying to move in down here. Get him once. Got him. Good job we got him as well, that were our last arrow. Yeah, he's too close to us. This is actually where I wanted to build, to be honest with you guys. I wanted to build in this big open field next to uh next to the airfield. Okay guys, so I kind of want to do a shotgun raid today. I'm not sure if I should use the shotgun or a New Yorker. I think a shotgun would be better. But yeah, I've got two neighbours and they both have wooden doors. So I definitely want to give it a try. There's one that lives right up there on that rock. And my base is right there where that snow is. Uh, he lives right there. And then there's another one just right here. Obviously it's going to be loud and draw a lot of attention. That's why I'm not going to take much stuff with me other than a shotgun and some bullets. I'm not sure exactly how much it takes to raid. There's another base here actually, let me just check this. But I'm not sure exactly how much it actually takes to raid. I think it's like 50 bullets or something like that. That's if you use the handmade shells. I'm sure it's a lot cheaper if you use like the uh, book shots or something. But obviously they cost a lot more. So let's go back, let's craft what we need and we'll start doing these shotgun raids straight away. Okay, so I think I am going to do Eorker pistols just because you can craft three Eorker pistols for the cost of one shotgun. That means we can like just create like six Eorker pistols, load them all up, shoot, 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 and then you're not losing too much resources. But if you're making shotguns, it's going to cost you a lot more, and if you die with them, you're going to lose a lot more resources. Let's get over and do this. Hopefully I've uh, done the math right. Hopefully there's only 50 per door. We'll find out though once we do this. Wow, that is going down really quick actually. And they reload pretty fast too. Holy shit, this is a lot easier than I thought. We've just got to be careful about people sneaking up on us though. Right, we've done 50 health already. So I think it either does 5 or 4 damage per hit. That's, that's the uh, thing that I'm seeing. We're at 85 health now. So we're probably going to need like another 20 bullets or something like that. There we go, let's grab some more bullets. I'll just bring like 27, that should be enough. Alright, let's quickly get this done before this helicopter comes back. Alright, I think this is our last inventory. Yep. Someone mining nodes over there. Oh, we've got another wooden door, shit. Alright, uh, they're probably going to have quite a few doors in here. That means we may have to do another inventory. But you know guys, it only costs a bit of stone and a bit of gunpowder, so it's not too bad. What will be annoying though, is if we open that door, and then there's a metal door behind it. 
Okay, so we're going to get started on the next door now. Hopefully, there's not another door behind it. The guy obviously has metal ore because, you know, the roof above where I was here is upgraded by metal. So, we're just going to have to see what we can do. Alright, these are our last ones. Let's just uh, try and keep it safe, just so we don't get, like, shotgun trapped or something. There we go. Wait for the door to despawn. Right, I think we're in. I think we're in, guys. Right, we've got TC. Oh shit, we need a door, we need a door. Uh, we can't craft the door. Has he got anything for a door? No, he don't have anything for a door. No. Door, door, door. Nope. Alright, we've got a hatchet. We can quickly chop down a tree. Then we can put a door on that base. I completely forgot about getting a door, to be honest with you boys. Right, there we go. Crafting a door. We're going to have to craft a cord lot too. There we go. And let's just hope that nobody comes. There we go. We got the door down. Now let's finally take a look at what we actually got. So we ain't got much so far. Tiny bit of sulfur. Not right much. Uh, over here. Bit of metal. Bit of stone. 900 charcoal, not bad. Um, gear, laptop. We've got four pipes, so that's going to help us craft our flamethrower, which we're going to craft soon. Uh, we've got a. Okay, we've got a uh, hoodie and pants. There we go, we can replace that with our shitty clothes. Uh, yeah, so we didn't get too much, but I think it was worth it because we've got ourselves a second base here, even though, you know, it's a terrible design. We also got some decent gear. Um. You know, it's not worth ex using explosives on, but because we only use the orca pistols and handmade shells, I'm actually quite happy with what we got from it. Anyway, let's lock their TC. We've got a lock right here. Let's put that on there. Craft the key. Then we're going to throw that key up there for now. Chuck it up there. Whatever, leave it there. Uh, anything else that we're going to take back to our base, we'll take the high qual. Uh, we've got a bit of animal fat there also, some in here. Also got two sets of armor here. Nice. What can we drop in the chest that we don't need? A bit of wood. Seed. That's a set of armor there. And then we can just drink from this water. We get our uh, our water bar filled right up. Perfect. And there we go. We can head back to our base. We only live up the hill though, so it's not too bad. But yeah, I'd say that was uh, pretty successful because the amount of stone that's used in this base is definitely worth it. And then the resources are pretty good. I forgot to destroy these bags too, so let's destroy them quickly if we can. There we go, all fixed. Let's just reload these and we'll head back to our base. So we've got eight pipes now. Uh, do we have enough to craft the flame for a while? We've got high quality there, do we have any more? We've got another eight there, so that's 16, that means we have enough. We need propane tanks, do we have any more propane tanks? Let me just check the cost of a flame for a while. Okay, so what we need is one more propane tank. We can easily get that from the monument. I'm going to take a trip down to the airfield anyway, just because I want to try and get a rifle body. So we're going to take a trip down there soon, after we've dropped all this loot off. There we go, so we've got our empty propane tank already, so that's our flamethrower ready. But now we just got to go in here and uh, get ourselves a bunch more components. Okay, three more pipes, that's actually very good. This is looking like it's going to be quite a good trip. Alright, let's start off by going underground. Hopefully no one's looted it yet. Um, I don't know how I just lost all the 30 health, but I'm still at the top of the ladder. What the hell? That's kind of weird. Right, we've got the helmet on. Let's go down here. Hopefully no one's been down here yet. Doesn't look like it because these boards are still here that you have to break. So hopefully we've got the place to ourselves. First crate, okay, we got a laptop, no rifle body yet though. What's in here? Okay, we got... Okay. Wait, there's a cave here, I didn't know there was a cave down here. Got two crates in here. Okay, I think this is just uh, the... Uh... Yeah, I think this is just the stuff that you get from um, caves and stuff. I didn't realise how big these tunnels were down here. Right, so I know there's usually a lot of crates in this armory area. I've, I've been here before and I've seen like three or four crates down here. But I'm here today and it doesn't seem like there's any. I think some may have looted it. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, there's none down here today. 
We haven't quite got a rifle body, but we have got a lot of components so far. We've definitely got what we needed because we needed a propane tank and we've got two. We also got an extra semi-automatic rifle body. But I think I'm going to have to come back later and hope that the crates respawn. There's a crate here actually. Have we got Oh, a rifle body, just what we wanted. Nice. Wow, we couldn't get any luckier than that. I didn't even know there was a crate in here. I was running through it to get out the back door so I can go home because I live that way. And I just happened to see a crate on that shelf. That's crazy. That's actually so lucky. Okay, so here we are. We're back home safely. Let's jump in here. So I think we're like ready to move up to the next level. Like currently we're still in like the wood age. We've still got wooden armor and a bow and arrow. But now I think we're ready to move up to the uh, metal and gun stage. But I am going to save that stage for the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.